Some of you might have heard about coded bullets. Let's explore that topic. Welcome to Connect the Dots. Coating bullets is the process of applying a top coat to the bullet. You might have seen my video on the precision window. The theory behind coating bullets is that it makes that precision window wider by reducing fouling. There are three main top coats that can be applied. You got molybdenum disulfide, commonly known as molly. You got hexagonal boron nitride, which is also known as boron. And then you got tungsten disulfide, which is commonly known as Danzac. It's important to understand that no matter which coat you use, it does not make your rifle shoot better. It, it allows you to shoot the same groups longer. So in other words, if you have a rifle that's shooting a half inch group and you coat your bullets with Danzac, you're not gonna magically start shooting a quarter inch groups. You're simply gonna shoot that half inch group longer between cleanings. I want to show you my process for applying Danzac. To apply this, we have to get out of the reloading room and go to the garage. In terms of time, this is going to take anywhere between an hour and a half and four hours. It's very tough to determine how long these bullets have to vibrate to make the Danzac adhere to them. Uh, lots of factors can affect that. But in terms of your working time, it's under 10 minutes. If you are enjoying this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. That will help Connect the Dots continue to grow and get better. There's a lot more information on my website, ctdshooting.com. Thanks for watching. Before we can coat the bullets, we have to get our equipment set up. I use three pill bottles and I thoroughly clean the inside of those pill bottles with hot soapy water. I'm then going to use a tube of BBs in each pill bottle, but I first have to clean those. And to clean those, I use Brake Clean. It does not leave any type of film on there. So I'll add one tube of BBs, clean BBs, to each pill bottle. You'll then need a rubber glove and a vibratory case tumbler. I included the safety data sheet for tungsten disulfide in the description. Usually, when I'm coating bullets, I wear a mask. I did not for this video so that you could hear my voice. But I used that one. You want to clean your bullets. I simply take a handful, maybe a little bit bigger handful, spray that brake clean into them, tumble them around a little bit, oops, and put them on the top. All right, we're getting ready for step two. And what I gotta do is I gotta dry these bullets. So I simply take the towel and I just fold it over. And you'll notice that I got rubber gloves on. <clears throat> it's important that you don't let any oils from your hand get on the bullets, because that'll not let the Danzac adhere to the bullets. So now what I gotta do is I just separate them visually into three piles. It doesn't have to be perfect. <clears throat> and then each pill bottle is gonna get a pile. Okay, so that is visually checked, and I can see that this one has a little bit more. I'm going to dump them out. There you go. Now I'm going to add the Danzac. 
And all I do is I just take a screwdriver tip, a little bit more than that, about that much, and I just add it to the bottle. And I'm not too worried about adding too much Danzac because one of the properties of Danzac is that it doesn't stick to itself. In other words, once a layer gets on something, it's not gonna get any thicker. Close these up. And then I put tape around it. <clears throat> I learned this lesson the hard way. That was a bad day. Came back and found my bottle had opened up. I had to restart everything. There you go. They are ready for the tumbler. Okay, step four. I'm going to add these bullets to the tumbler. And I simply take my bottles and I arrange them. Little triangle pattern here. And I'm going to let these vibrate for at least an hour and a half, uh, sometimes a little bit longer. All right. Time to go do something else for an hour and a half. I'm getting ready to do step five. First thing I need to do is I need to check one bottle. So before I open up all, I'm just gonna check one of them. And you basically look inside and you see if there's any copper left. And on this one, there is some copper, so I need to let it go another half hour. Okay, round two of step five. Uh, these have been tumbling now for I don't know, two and a half, 215, something like that. Uh, I'm gonna test one bottle again. Yep, these look much better. Nice shiny silver in there. I'm gonna move. We are getting ready to do step five, which is to separate the bullets from the BBs. And to do that, I made this container. This actually started out as three beakers. On the first beaker, I cut the bottom off, and then in the bottom of it, I drill those holes. Those holes are big enough for the BBs to fall through, but they're not so big that the bullets will fall through. So it basically separates the bullets from the BBs. On the second beaker, I cut the bottom off right at the bottom, and then the third beaker I just left as is. The bottom part of that beaker, I stuck in the second beaker, and now these fit inside one another. And then all I do, I take the bottle and I pour it about half. Just shake it around a little bit. The BBs fall into this container and the bullets stay there. Take the BBs, pour them back in the container, and then any extra Danzac that did not stick to the BBs or the bullets or the inside of the container, I then take that and I just pour it back. Into my container. I'll repeat that process for the other two bottles. So now what I want to do <clears throat> is I want to take this towel and I'm just going to lightly rub them. This gets off any of the extra dust or 
anything that just didn't stick to them, just cleans up the bullets a little bit. gloves. And then I have an old cotton sock that I don't wear anymore. And I'm just going to put all the bullets into this cotton sock. And then I just roll them back and forth in this sock. And this just shines them up. Then I have my container that I'm gonna <clears throat> keep the bullets in. And I just put them in there. These bullets are now ready to be loaded and fired. Coated bullets are said to reduce the friction in the bore. Depending on your level of precision, you might have to adjust your powder charge to make up for this difference in velocity. As with most advanced reloading techniques, coating bullets is not for everyone. But if you're a competition shooter, a prairie dog shooter, or basically anybody who fires lots of rounds and you want to extend the time between cleanings, maybe give coating bullets a try. Until next time, enjoy the experience.